Okay, so today, in this video, we're going to do another gameplay of a game called Space Engine. Some of you may be familiar with it, others may not be. It's a game where you can explore different galaxies, systems, planets, all the different types of planets, nebulas, and all sorts really. So we're going to run through that today in this gameplay. As you can see, this is the main menu. And before some of you ask, why is there no, like, sound music playing? Because I've had to turn it off for copyright reasons. Because um, obviously some of their music in the game is copyright. So, let's see what we can do. Let's start playing. I'm just going to turn it up a bit. You may see, the, uh, if you can see, uh, you just about see the audio slider here. Let's see what I can do. You may not be able to hear much anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens anyway. It's still loading, although it should already be loaded. Okay, there we go. So, so we start in the middle of nowhere, shall I put it. We'll just have a look at some of these planets. So, obviously I could adjust my speed. I don't know if you could see it on the screen. I can adjust the velocity from meters to kilometers a second. This is all in seconds. So you got meters a second, kilometers a second. I can scroll it using. I can adjust the speed using the scroller. I can adjust the speed. You can see. Get faster and faster. I can go to AU a sec. See AU. Light years. A second kilo light years. Whatever it means. Mill light years. As you can see, oh, I just went well out of the system, so I'm going to have to slow right down. Sometimes when you're going right past planets, you may notice you may zoom right past. That's why you have to do a gentle slow down in order to get it right. I was going to zoom right past. Okay, so we are at system. Hang on. We are currently at this star right here. Sorry, this is going well out. Far too quick. So we're at system RS 8474 4756 259 89721. That's just where we're at. That's what it's called, as you can see. I don't you can see that really well, but you can somewhat see it. So let's have a look around the system. So we have a little gameplay to explore some of these planets. So sorry for the lag, uh, if there's any lag at all. Okay, let's start with this one. So we have here a hot desert. So we're actually going to go to the uh, atmosphere, and we'll see what it's like. Um, Earth-like atmosphere, a nice blue atmosphere like on Earth. Oh, you can actually set down on this one, so it's a hot desert. And you've got a nice view of the star there, the system star. It looks like it's just, you know, just mountains from what I can see. You got atmosphere. Was well, there any clouds? Some like Earth-like clouds. Here we go. Yeah, you can see some clouds right here. Um, you can see surface clouds. Well, they just the clouds. You got two layers. You could see two layers of clouds and Earth-like atmosphere. As you can see, I'm going to show you where it's getting dark. At this end, for instance, you can see like the sun setting here, and you can also see a nebula as well. So if I go into the atmosphere, and hopefully, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the problem is when you go into the atmosphere, the nebula fades away, which is a bit of an issue. If, if you wonder what these things are right here, this is an asteroid. You can actually land on the asteroid as well. Um, you can actually play around using ships as well, but I don't really know how to um, use that since it's so complicated. I'll try and get some stunning shots as well. Look how tiny this asteroid, feel, this asteroid is compared to uh, the planet. It's like tiny. Got the star, big glare there. Another asteroid. Those are all asteroids. you got a hot Selena there. Yeah, this is a moon. As you can see, no atmosphere, you can set down on it, as you can see, it gives you all the information here if you look on the left, you won't be able to see it all, but you can see some of the information um, it's showing, 
So if we have a look over here, the ice giant. When I look at the atmosphere, as you can see it's 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 a different um, atmosphere. It's again, it's this one's very foggy. Um, as you can see, absolutely fogged out surface. Got the clouds as well. Can't really see it in really well since it's and the gravity is one point four g's. So, see, so yeah, the atmosphere won't be too good. Uh, this one. Warm Selena, again, no atmosphere, just got a surface, as you can see. We'll try and get one, here we go. Now that's a nice view of the, um, of like the star right ahead, as you can see. For instance, if I zoom in, you get some stunning shots there. I'll put some stunning shots on my other social media pages as well, if I get a moment. Depends well when I do it. Let's have a look at this one. Ice Giant. Cool Desert. So this one will be a lot colder. It's got an atmosphere as well, like a purple atmosphere. I don't know how thick it is. Although, no, it's hardly an atmosphere. It's a very thin atmosphere, as you can see. And you've got a hill there as well. Yeah, for me, you can actually see it's space, so the atmosphere is very thin on this planet. Night lights, like you see in the north, on Earth. Let's have a look at, let's have a look at Earth on here. And we'll have a look at the nebulas and all that. Here's Earth, the planet we li live on. There's North America. That's where we are right now. And, you, and I, don't, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom as the time. I'm going to set it to the time right now. What it looks like right now. Um, hang on. Yeah, you can see there's the UK, there's Africa, there's North America, and you can see Australia there. You can see China, Asia, all that area, and Russia. You can see there. <clears throat> If we have a look at the other planets in the system, let's have a look at Mars. Let's go into the planet. You can see foggy yellow atmosphere. Gravity is 0.3 g, so you know there's hardly any gravity on this planet. Just ignore that. Uh, Mercury. This is getting closer to the sun. So it'll be like burning hot here. As you can see the surface again. Now where's the star? Where's our star? So I think this is as close as we can get to the star. Let's see. So you've got Mercury there. Where's Venus? Yeah, Venus is a little bit further away, so Mercury is actually the closest to the star. If I show you close up to a star, this one is a yellow dwarf, our own sun. You get a bit closer, all that we can see is just, you know... It's just so bright, you know, if you, if you were that close in real life, you know, it would blind you immediately. If that sort of makes sense. There's our system. Let's go all over to Saturn. And we've got some planets surrounding the area as well, like Titan. Different atmosphere. Atmosphere looks quite cool, although it's very fogged up. Let's have a look at the rings here. Then we'll go and have a look at the nebulas. As you can see, the planet rings here. A little bit closer. There's like the rings going around Saturn. It's a frozen gas giant. A little bit of gravity, but you know, it's very, very light. As you can see. 
Let's have a look at another system now. Let's go all the way over there. We are virtually now in the nebula. We are at Anytac. Um, if that's what you, what, what you call it. There's two stars in like one place. Oh yeah, there is two stars like next to each other. Question is, is there any planets? I don't think so. Let's have a look at this nebula. So you see the nebulas are absolutely massive. The size of it is just so huge. Got like mini nebulas as well. Let's see. Let's have a look at these planets again. Another orange dwarf. Just like our own star. May do some more gay plays on Space Engine at some point, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, so here we have a hot gas giant. If I show you the surface of a gas giant. There's the atmosphere. And you can actually see somewhat out. It's got a very light blue atmosphere. Um... Nebula over there. Hot asteroid, more asteroids again, just save as before, you can you can set down on them. You notice the like when you go to speed, it's just like Star Trek in a way. Um, you can see if I had to go past. Now look at this one. This one's a very weird shape. It's like round on one side, but it's like it's like very thin on another, if you're looking at it from another perspective. Let's have a look at this one. I'm just going to explore some of the planets. Um, oops, I'm going past too quickly. As ice giant, if we go into the um, surface, white atmosphere. You can see, not much to see there. Uh, okay, where am I going? Let's go to four. Here we go, this is another interesting one. The rings are like spread out on this one, so you can see the rings. You got This is a cold desert, so we can always go have a look on the surface. So let's go have a look. Um, where should I set down? It looks like, if you look at it, it looks like a sunset, in my opinion. Or sunrise, whatever. And you've got the surface, and you've got a thick layer of clouds. As you can see, mountains. Not much to see here, but it does make you wonder how many Earth flight planets are actually out there. Let's have a look over here. Okay, another star. You can land on the planet as well, so am I landing on the planet? Yes, it's a gas giant, so it's we all... How do I get out of this? Yeah, it's not ideal landing on gas giants, because you because it's like all fogged up, if that sort of makes sense. Let's see. More asteroids, we'll have a one more like nebula and then we'll call it here. What's that over there? Let's go have a look. Now this is inside nebula, there's like several stars inside this nebula. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like any planets near, though. But you've got the nebula as well. I'm going to try and get... There's all the stars. you got all the nebulas as well. As you can see. One massive nebula. Let's have a look at this one over here. And then we'll probably call it it. Okay, let's see. We've got planets this time, so we can have all that. It's cool ice giant, warm gas giant. Let's have a look at a warm gas giant. I'm going to do more gameplay space engine at some point. This is just a little quick run through.
little gameplay, so I thought I'd do that today. Not Selene, you've got planets like surrounding each other. As you can see, we've got the warm Selenas. Obviously not atmosphere, just... As you can see. I think it looks more stunning, in my opinion. Without nebulas, like if, was, if you're not inside nebulas, let's, get, let's move away from the nebulas and let's just go like a long, long way. So let's go to this one. Go. Where we ended up? That's a supernova remnant. That must be where? Hmm, interesting. Uh, supernova once was once held. Let's go right close to the start. It's a scorched. It's a bit absolutely roasting hot here. It's so close. It must be absolutely burning. You would never survive in these conditions. As you can see, very close to a star. I think they're all very close. Ice giant, that's scorched, so it'd be quite hot there as well. Let's try and be further away, see if I can spot any plants out, like, nowhere near the star. I don't think there is, but, yeah, there you go. So that was just a little quick gameplay of Space Engine. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable. And I'm going to end it here, so I hope you enjoyed it, and that will be it. Thanks for watching.